All right, welcome back, guys. V Twin Brothers. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about a issue I'm experiencing on my 1200 Sportster. Uh, this thing's got over 50,000 miles, and uh, over time I'm starting to notice my tank, my oil tank. The oil will drain down into the, into the crank. What I would assume past the check ball and spring that's in the oil filter housing. So today we're gonna try and address that and um, see what we could do to try to eliminate this issue. It's been a problem that I really want to try to address. But uh, anyways, let's go look at the parts. <clears throat> so over here, you got your check ball, your own new oil filter adapter, and you got your spring. It's pretty straightforward. They're the part numbers, so if you guys need them for reference, and also the spring's not on that piece of paper there, but there they are again. If you guys ever have this issue, you want to try and address it. But, um, so you're gonna need a 22 deep well socket to fit over the adapter to loosen it up. And it should only have about 18 foot pounds of torque on it, so it's really not that bad. Just be careful with it. Just be, go slow. And um, we'll be going over more of this information in a minute. So, back to this. So I might have mentioned already, I already loosened this up just to make it a little easier. But like I said, it, it was nothing. It came right off. It was 18 foot pounds. So, uh, let's see if I can just get it by hand. I don't know. And uh, for those that don't know, uh, it'd be a good idea before you do this, get the bike warm. Do it during an oil change if you can, that's what I'm doing. Um, and uh, get the bike warm, drain the oil, leave the tank uh, empty, and then uh, go ahead and pull this, just in case it tries to come out at you, if it really is doing what I'm thinking it's doing, which it definitely looks like it. Uh, based off the fact that I let this thing sit for about two weeks, and I'll show you pictures, that the tank is completely empty. It's supposed to be the top and I'm sure some of you guys may have been experiencing this but once you get it going then all of a sudden it fills right back up all that oil finds its way back in the tank the pumps working extra hard I want to try to eliminate that and uh, have the oil flow back to what it used to be when it was stock so let's take this off let's see what we got in here I got it there's the adapter it looks like my ball, my check ball, is stuck in there. So, the book made it look a little easier, but let's see what I gotta do to get that out, and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. So, welcome back, guys. We finally got this thing out, or at least far enough where I can get it with my fingers. Uh, we just had to use a set of picks, just work on it slowly, it will come out. Um, just be gentle. Uh, don't, I don't know if this thing will come apart or not, and you'll end up getting debris in there, so I was just being conscientious of that. But, uh, Hopefully I can get it with my fingers now. I went back in. I can get it back out. Let's see. It's a little bastard, if you can already tell. I got lucky, I guess, the first time around. I'm trying to grab it from the other side and pull it without being too abusive with it. There you go, now you get to see it come out. So, anyways, what we're 
originally finding with this is spring the ball don't look too bad up close or from far away I should say but there's a wear mark right here and it's not exactly center so I'm not saying that that's it it could be a combination of all this but that's telling me that this ball is not seating the way it's supposed to be somehow it's on an angle I don't know if this thing is flexing in there somehow or what's going on but it's suspect I'm gonna replace it and as you guys seen this thing is under 20 bucks to replace it at the dealer you know it's worth a shot so we'll find out here in a minute once we get the new one in there's the new adapter and then here's the new ball and the new spring and this right here so just like how that one was I'm gonna put it this little pin in there, if you want to call it that, I don't even really know what to call it. It just fits in there real nice. Rubber coating on this, it's not like a hardened plastic, so it almost looks like that from far away, but it, is, does, it does have some kind of rubber on it. So, put that back in. Yes, it's about the same as the other one, so. And the new adapter already has Loctite on it, so I just got everything new. I just wanted to start from the beginning. I don't want to leave anything to chance. Like I said, it was under 20 bucks, so whatever. Make sure the thread's in nice, nice and easy. And I'm hitting the Loctite now, but I'm still able to turn it with my fingers. It started do the rest with the wrench 22 deep well I got here going in nice and easy Like it's seated in there. It's looking in there. Whether you could pick that up or not. But it's up against the other end of that adapter. So. Some spring tension on it. Doesn't feel weird. Now I'm going to torque it down. Get my torque wrench here. Book says 18 to 22 foot pounds. spring new adapter so fill up with oil and we'll get back to you in a minute and see how this thing did all right welcome back guys so just got done putting in the check ball and spring like you seen a little bit ago uh, ran it let it cool down it's been sitting for a couple hours and I'm just kind of curious if there was any uh, any kind of oil flow past that valve did, did it actually drop in the tank and um, just looking in here I mean, it's only been sitting for a little while. It seems like it's where I left it. So, I'm hoping that's a good sign. Um, if any of you guys have ever had a similar issue to this, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm very curious to see what you guys ran into. Um, so, anyways, I'll follow up with it more as time goes on. If I notice anything, as this thing sits me for over a day or two or a week or whatever, if, it has, if we get some bad weather. But, um, yeah, until then, you know, 
keep uh keep tuning in checking out what we got and uh thanks again for tuning in to v twin brothers and uh see you guys around